what a wonderful life. I love being retired after making exactly one video on the YouTubes. Nothing could go better for me. What's that? People actually watched my video? What, they want more? How am I supposed to make more? You know what? That just might work. Now, it's going to take a bit of mad science, bias, and drawing, but I believe that with enough power, I can truly imagine. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 we can't just say that. I just know somebody's already in the comments like, oh, Mighty Mothra, you're so wrong because my perfect Skylanders game would have Mario as a guest star and every Skylander would be voiced in cutscenes and Imaginators wasn't that bad. Okay, first of all, let's be realistic here. Second of all, this is my opinion on what would make a cool Skylanders game, so all you need to do is sit down and watch the video. And third of all, I know Imaginators isn't that bad. It's funny to exaggerate. I like to make jokes. You may be wondering what exactly is the criteria for a perfect Skylanders game. Well, worry not, because I have a plan. I have a list of stuff that I'm going to go through, and whichever game I think does that stuff best will borrow that element from them. For example, if I like Spyro's Adventures cast the best, I'd probably have a cast of mostly core Skylanders. Sounds good? Great. I'll break it all down for you. Then at the end, I might throw up some uh, concept sketches for this hypothetical perfect Skylanders game. As a treat. So, first of all, we have the Spyro's Adventure Team, a team made of all core Skylanders. This was cool at the time. And as a matter of fact, next to none of the most popular Skylanders aren't cores. Think about it. All the main characters in Skylanders Academy are cores, so despite them not being as big or as cool as the others, there's gotta be some sort of benefit to being a core Skylander. However, the core Skylanders got really overshadowed by these new gimmick Skylanders, being tinier and less new and cool. Not to mention all the reposes that just kinda sit on your shelves. So, for our brand spanking new Skylanders game, we're gonna go the uh, Superchargers Imaginators route. If we do have a gimmick, we're not gonna have any cores. It'll be a full cast made entirely of new Skylanders. But let's say we did have a gimmick. What's the best direction to go in? Let's review the other gimmicks. We've got giants who are big, swappers who swap, trap masters with their weapons, superchargers with their cars and their guns and their gun cars, and senseis who are really, really good at their jobs. Oh, and these things, I guess. Out of all these teams, I think the one I take the most inspiration from here is the senseis. They had the most creative freedom, in my opinion, with regards to designs and powers. Now, sure, they had to stay in the battle classes, but there was 11 of those, and the battle classes are really flexible. I mean, Boom Bloom has a whip, and she's in the ninja class, and that is cool, and it's not stretching it, no matter who says. The senseis aren't stuck with one body size either, like the swap force or the giants and they aren't stuck relying on a big flashy weapon or a car like the Trap Team or Superchargers. And they're cooler than the cores, that's for sure. So basically, our team of Skylanders will be cooler than the cores, but not so cool that we might make an entire gimmick around them. Ah, <sighs> the perfect balance. What I mean by graphics are the specific design choices the teams make to stylize the game in a fun and interesting way. So, in my humble opinion, the best graphics would be some sort of a combination between Trap Team and Superchargers. Alright, let me explain. I really love the character designs for Superchargers and I think they're some of the best in the series. Everyone is so expressive and from their outfits to their idol animations, everyone just has that extra bit of polish that makes it all come together so nicely but the level design of Trap Team pops so much more. Superchargers levels feel a little big and empty in a way that Trap Teams definitely don't. I look back over the graphics of every game, and I definitely think Trap Team's style is a standard I'd love to carry over for a Skylanders game. I mean, the colors and style are just so fun and vibrant, way more than the kind of hazy hues of SSA and Giants, the weird middle step that was Swap Force, and, you know, the emptiness of Superchargers. So my dream graphics would be the characters of Superchargers with the levels of Trap Team. So I suppose that'd be like Imaginators in a way? Nah. At 
the risk of this one getting a bit repetitive, I'm gonna have to give it to Trap Team again. They're just so full of fun and with unique environments everywhere you turn. Now, every Skylanders game has a bunch of fun levels, so it's not like it's too unique in that aspect. But I think Trap Team really knocked it out of the park with level designs. And I think that having levels dedicated to fending off Doom Raiders every so often really enhanced that whole experience. Can we skip this one? Literally every Skylanders game has the same music. It's all adventure music. Except maybe Trap Team because of the villain stock songs and the Skeletone showdown. I just, yeah, just all of them. All of them are the same. Pretzels are the same. Oh, but Mothra, this is about the Skylanders, I hear you say. Why are we talking about the villains? Because I like the villains. Now sit down and keep watching this video. Now, it may be obvious which game I'm going to pick, but you listen to me. I am nothing if not thorough, so I'm going to go through them anyways. First of all, you know him, you, me you feel a mild irritation towards him, my enemy and yours, it's our boy Chaos. So I think for the perfect Skylanders game, all of us know that Chaos needs to take the sideline as the villain, because I might be a huge fan of the little bald guy, but good god he is getting a bit old. I mean, six games with him as the primary antagonist, maybe excluding superchargers if you're picky. I'd love to include Chaos in our perfect Skylanders game, but definitely not as the main villain. So that leaves us with other villains. The Cockertron, Chaos's Mom, the Doom Raiders, the Darkness, and Brain. Not to be confused with the Brain. One counts the Cockertron as a true villain, considering Chaos is kind of just the one driving him. So let's just put him in the box and just push that aside. And Chaos's Mom has pretty much used up all her potential in Academy, having like a bit of character development for herself. Oh yeah, did I mention in the game she's still trapped in a mirror prison for all of eternity? I wonder how that's going for her. And then there's the Darkness, who was a phenomenal villain in my opinion, taking the unseen force being referenced in the other Skylanders games and giving him a face was genius. However, I don't think the stakes could get much higher than what we already did in Superchargers, so he is gonna get shelved too. Sorry, buddy. Then there's Brain, who's not that popular, I think. I mean, I don't know. I never hear anything about the guy besides the resounding meh. I mean, I like him, but the random heel face turn in the middle of the final boss was kind of passe. Also, he isn't nearly intimidating enough for a main villain, which leaves us with the Doom Raiders. They definitely take the cake for the best Skylanders villain. It really feels like one of the only times that Skylanders put as much effort into making the villains cool that they do the heroes. Heck, even Chaos is at his coolest when he's in Trap Team. He's basically an instant win button, I love it. However, with the Doom Raiders redeemed, we can't use them as villains again, but it's good to take notes on the best villains doing the coolest job. So, with these five things gathered like the Infinity Stone, here comes the idea for my perfect Skylanders game. Okay, hold on. Sorry, sorry, I've said before that I don't hate Imaginators, but I just think that the plot I have in mind would be a lot more satisfying right after Superchargers. No, no, do just trust me, it's gonna be great. So, like I was saying, it's right after Superchargers. The darkness has been defeated, Chaos has kinda joined the good guys, kinda. The Doom Raiders are still good guys, everyone's good guys. Only one problem. Some mysterious evil force has taken all the Skylanders and their friends hostage. Side note, I haven't actually got a solid idea on the evil force, like, I'll get back to you on that. Maybe it's some sort of evil wizard or something. I mean, you can't go wrong with an evil wizard. Or, or maybe it's Chaos's dad. I mean, I know in Academy they said Eon was Chaos's dad, or like, Strikor was Chaos's dad, I'm Chaos's dad, you're Chaos's dad, but this is the games, okay? Different canon. Let me have my fun. Alright, moving on. So, the only people left over are the are Mr. Evil Consultant himself, Chaos, the Reformed Doom Raiders, and a bunch of losers. Whoa, 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 hold on, where are you going? Come back here, I'm not done yet. This is gonna get cool, I promise. So, basically, you heard me right. The new Skylanders line is gonna be a bunch of rejected, not ready, or quote-unquote loser Skylanders. Basically, they're amateurs, rookies. 
Now, I hear you. Nobody would want to play with some losers. They want to play with big, strong heroes. But here's where things get interesting. I'm going to take a page from Pokemon's book. And this team's gimmick will be, they start out as rookies, but as they level up, they become super awesome and really rise to the rank of Skylander. So you get attached to them and grow and change with them. Wouldn't it be so cool to see your Skylander growing along with you as a portal master? Now, it's been almost five years since Imaginators, so I'm making it with the idea in mind that people might only have access to the new Skylanders. It's a return after a long hiatus. So I think not being able to play as the others wouldn't be too bad. But for the hardcore fans, I can still imagine there being a way to play as your old Skylanders. You know how placing your Skylander in the portal summons them into Skylands? That could probably summon them away from their mysterious prison too. It wouldn't be too big of a cop-out since they just go right back where it, when you take them off the portal. Now, the main NPCs would be, instead of Flynn and company, it'd be Chaos, Golden Queen, and the reformed Doom Raiders. I think the idea of making the Skylanders NPCs and Imaginators was a good idea to try and mix up the series, but there were so many of them hopping around in the levels and standing around that it was a little confusing. Now, that might happen with the Doom Raiders too, considering there's one of each element, so I wanted to assign all of them different roles. Golden Queen would be the acting headmaster of Skylanders Academy, kind of like Buzz. In charge of upgrades would be Chef Pepperjack, who's cooking up new recipes to allow your Skylanders to get even stronger. In charge of arena mode and doom challenges would be Chaos, acting as his ultimate evil consultant self, of course, and probably heckling you the entire time. Wolfgang would probably be in charge of heroic challenges. And yes, I can bring those back, because the story would focus so heavily on these new loser Skylanders, you could probably get away with getting a heroic challenge for all of them. Or, if you think that's too ridiculous, I'm sure we could afford to bring back Skeletone Showdown. Wouldn't it be neat with Wolfgang leading the Skeletones? Dreamcatcher would be like Hugo in a way. Hugo stays behind because he can't really fight like the others, so I thought Dreamcatcher would be a good fit because even though she can fight, she is a talking head who only has dream magic. Now, I think Crankcase would make a great pilot. He's funny and charismatic like Flynn, and he could probably build his own flying machine, maybe even cooler than the Dreadyacht. Which leaves Chompy Mage as, um, um, I don't know. Oh, Mags, yeah, Mags. What does Mags do in the overworld again? Stand around? Yeah, that's fine, he can do that. And then there's the Gulper. He, he can be quickly, whatever. Now, as for the levels I make up, I don't really know. I'm a, not great at that stuff. I mean, there'd probably be a final level, which would be some sort of fortress of some kind, or maybe some sort of evil wizard cave with, like, crystals. I think I'd also like a sort of mushroom world if we haven't gotten that one already. I can also imagine a follow-up level with the, with the Willikin and the Evilikin, where they can live in harmony and Chaos and Dr. Crankcase can put aside their differences. I mean, the Willikin were Chaos' childhood friends, after all. Plus, it'd be nice to see Crankenstein, Shield Shredder, and the whole gang again. Now, I think I'll add my final new ideas by describing my ideas for some of these loser Skylanders. Okay, I need a better name for those, but you get it. I'm not too great at drawing those, so please be nice. One of the ideas I had is a magic Skylander who starts out as a terrible stage magician. They want to do magic tricks, but most of the time he can't get them to work. So he has to make do with throwing their little magic tricks at people as a projectile. Then, by the time you fully upgraded him, he's become an amazing magician, finally getting his tricks to work. Imagine a real Harry Houdini kind of guy. He could escape from dangerous enemies. He could whip them with actual magic orbs. It would be so cool. Another one is a tech Skylander, who's a primitive computer, like one of those giant square monitors, maybe with a little smiley face on the screen. Then, as the computer gets more advanced, he's able to learn, build himself a more powerful body, and once he's powerful enough, he's a fully operational robot. With the water element, I have this sort of oarfish looking guy. If you don't know what an oarfish is, it's a very long fish from the deep dark sea. So this guy would not be used to the open land. He'd be running blindly like an idiot for a while, not sure how to move. Once he gets more experienced though, he might find a way to get himself some sunglasses so he can see better. And he could probably use that long tail as a whip too. And my final idea, which might be a little bit too similar to other Skylanders, but we've had a lot of plant creatures before, so I'll let it slide, is a cactus who looks sort of depressed because everyone knows cactuses are all spiky and dangerous, so they stay away. 
But once she's fully upgraded, she becomes a rootin' tootin' cowboy who can shoot her spikes out at enemies. That about concludes all my ideas for my perfect new Skylanders game. Did you like it? Did you think it was hot garbage? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Now it's time for me to return from the dark abyss from whence I came. Ha ha ha.